good morning parents and my dear students i am bhavna prakash an english teacher for class 9th today is 13th of april monday and we will be reading a chapter from beehive chapter 1 the fun they had written by isaac esimo but students before we go and begin exploring the chapter let me tell you more about the author Isaac Asimov was born on 2nd January 1920 in Russia and he left us on 6th of April 1992 in America. He was an American writer and professor of biochemistry at Boston University. He was known for his work of science fiction and popular science. He was considered one of the big 3 science fiction writer during his time. The fun they had is a science fiction story by this American writer which was first appeared in children newspaper in 1951 and was reprinted 30 more times. This particular chapter was written as a personal favor for a friend. The fun they had which became the biggest surprise of his career. This he himself wrote in 1973. This chapter is all about a computerized home schooling and what children miss out on by not being in school together. So, the fun they had by Isaac Asimov was a futuristic story set in 2157 AD. What do you mean by futuristic? Futuristic is something which is very modern in technology or which have characters of future. So, this particular story has a futuristic or future perspective to it the story writer imagined what the school and education system will look like in 23rd century the story takes us to the world of the future where computer will play a major role the story opens with margie margie is a main character along with tommy so the story opens with margie writing in her diary an old book that tommy had found margie was reminded of her grandfather who had once talked about his grandfather now grandfather is talking about his grandfather who went to an actual school where the students were taught by human teacher like us however margie and tommy lived in the future world where education was completely computerized they did not go to school instead they had a special study room where a computer taught them the computer teacher was programmed and adjusted according to the needs of each child unlike us that we give you test and assessments based on your performance and abilities now and then the computer teacher develops fault we are fixed by a county inspector now if you if if they will have a computer teacher and if any error will come in the computer system obviously someone will come to fix it up and who is supposed to come county inspector both tommy and margie wondered at the book found by tommy in his attic what is an attic students attic is a place where in western house basically which is used as a store or for other purposes as they usually have slanting roofs unlike ours which is flat so we will see a picture further in this um, in the chapter for you better understanding so both tommy and margie wondered at the book they found in the tommy's attic they wondered at it this particular book that tommy found was different from the one they were used to of reading in the screen of computer teacher margie felt that the computer teacher was very boring she disliked the mechanical teaching and learning She also wondered how much fun it would be studying in a school like us. Studying in a fun way with other children that too from a human teacher. So, now let's read the chapter and you will have a better hang what we were talking about. This is the chapter as it appears in your book. Now before we begin with the chapter, I would like to talk about two particular points, virtual reality and virtual classroom. 
children virtual classroom is a term which refers to the classroom wherein teaching and learning is done using the help with the help of computer software or the internet like we all do a teacher is there to help you out but using certain gadgets internet and computer software we teach you and this is what we call as virtual classroom on the other hand virtual reality is wherein everything which is created is by using computer software so we will get to know about them better as we read the chapter now the first paragraph begin as margie even wrote about it that night in her diary on the page headed 17th may 2157 this is an important date for you to remember because on this day tommy has found a real book so that is what margie is writing in her diary that night and the day was 17th may 2157 she wrote today tommy found a real book it was a very old book margie's grandfather once said that when he was a little boy his grandfather told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on pages or papers so now margie remember by the time tommy found a book in the attic margie remembered that even her grandfather used to recall when he was a boy that he used to go to a school where in the pages uh, some stories were printed on a pages they turned the pages which were yellow and crinkly what do you mean by the word crinkly which has many folds or lines and it was awfully funny to read words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to on a screen you know now here margie was finding it very funny because the pages on which his grandfather's grandfather used to study was still they, they don't used to move like in our books but in the ebook that they used to read everything used to move so this particular difference was very funny for her to understand and then when they turn back to the page before it has the same word on it that it had when they read it the first time all right you tell me if you flip your page of your book will it turn will it change no it will never if you close it for 10 days 20 days or maybe for an year also then also if you open the first page whatever was written it will be there nothing will change unlike the ebook that they have so that was very funny for them because things were very different in both the eras coming to the second paragraph gi said tommy what a waste when you are through with this book you just throw it away i guess our television screen must have had millions book on it and it's good for plenty more i would not throw it away same with mine said margie she was 11 and hadn't seen as many telebooks as tommy had he was 13 she said where did you find it in my house he pointed without looking because he was busy reading in the attic what it it is about school now tommy is saying what is the waste because you've been printing books and once you are through with your book obviously you will throw it away because they were not from this era wherein they could actually make use of storing books and keeping it for the time to use and use for future for future use out and he thought that once you are through with the book you just throw it away and the books that you have on ebooks or the television screen they used to stock it up similarly like your phones isn't it once you download one movie you can download second movie also and you have space to download 10 other movies same goes for their television screen wherein they can have millions of ebooks and they can still um, download few more and margie also agree to the same, to the um, to tommy that yes even if you are have stored certain books you can store many more though she had not read that much books because she is junior to tommy she is just 11 and tommy is 13 now out of curiosity she is asking where did you find it so tommy is replying her back that uh, he find it in the house in the attic but he was busy reading and he was concentrating 
and hence he was not paying much attention to what Margi is saying. On which Margi asked him father what it is about and he mentioned it is about school. Coming to third paragraph, Margi was scornful. What do you mean by the word scornful? Scornful is something which is which, which seems very worthless. Why Margi was showing that attitude? We will read further. School. What's there to write about school? I hate school. Since Margi hates school, that is why she is wondering that why somebody is talking about school. Because coming to the third paragraph, Margi always hated school. But now she hated it more than ever. The mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in geography and she had been doing worse and worse until her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully and sent for the county inspector. In school, if you're not performing well in one test, second test, third test, then what will be done? Either your parents turn up to the school or the teacher turn up to the parents, isn't it? And then things were sorted. But in, in the era wherein Margi belongs, what happens? That the mechanical teacher functioning has been affected by something or the other. And as a result, what is happening? The me mechanical teacher is giving test after test in geography. Now, this particular teacher is teaching her geography. And uh, since she is she's getting test and test again and again, so her performance is going down. After the performance is going down, her mother shook her head sorrowfully, sorrowfully in sadness. And then he, she called for county inspector. Now, who is county inspector? The one who will correct the mistake in the mechanical teacher because it is just a machine. Coming to the fourth paragraph. He was a round little man with a red face and a whole box of tools with dials and wires. So now this is the description of county inspector, how the man looks like. Thankfully, it is not a machine, it is a man. He was a round little man with a red face and a whole box of tools with dials and wires. Why he is carrying dials and wires? Because he is now going to correct the machine, the electronic machine which used to teach Margi. He smiled at Margi and gave her an apple, then took the teacher apart. Apart is taking apart, taking the parts. Margi had hoped he wouldn't know how to put it together again because she hates school and obviously hates the mechanical teacher too. There it was again, large, black and ugly. What we are talking about? The mechanical teacher with a big screen on which all the lessons were shown and the question were asked. So now this mechanical teacher was black in color and has a big screen on which lessons and chapters were shown. And even whatever question the machine would like to ask, it was shown there. That wasn't so bad. The part Margi hated the most was the slot where she had to put homework and test paper. Now she can deal with the ugly looks of the machine. But what troubles her more? The area, the slot, the given space where she used to put her homework and test paper for correction. She always had to write them out in a punch code. Unlike the English language that we have learned so far, they used to apply punch code. They made her learn when she was six years old. Same like you, isn't it? By the time you become five and six, you learn how to write in English and in Hindi too. And the mechanical teacher calculated the marks in no time. Since it is mechanical teacher, so, you, so the students were supposed to learn a punch code in which they used to write their test papers and homework, according to which the mechanical teacher used to sum up the marks in no time. So we will stop here till fourth or fourth paragraph. All the word meanings are given on to the right hand side, left hand side of the screen for your understanding. All right, and the homework that we will be giving to you today is to attempt these four questions on your own. All right, the first question is how old are Margie and Tommy? Second is what did Margie write in her diary? Third is had Margie ever seen a real book before? And fourth is what do you think a telebook is? So we have taken this particular section today and hence I have given you four questions. 
these are the reference site wherein you can refer to so i hope you all have understood the topic and you will be able to write down the questions that i have given for homework these are the further references which you can use for any additional resource material that you would like kindly browse them and make use of internet well पेरेंट्स से मैं ये अनुरोध करना चाहूँगी कि अपने बच्चों को प्रोत्साहित करिए कि वो घर में बैठ के पढ़ें और काम पूरा करें घर पे रहिए सुरक्षित रहिए स्वस्थ रहिए धन्यवाद